Hey guys, today we're going to be talking a little bit about the uh, mobile homestead. These are some of the things I like to do with my RV fridge before I head out to go camping for the weekend. All right guys, so before I go out camping for the weekend, I like to now go through my fridge on the back side. The reason why I like to do that is because when we were in the Grand Tetons last year, I'll put a link right there to that video, we woke up the next morning, we were boondocking, we didn't have any um, electrical hooked up to our fridge, and our check light was on. And so before even having a cup of coffee, which is an absolute disgrace, I was having to get with my son and we were having to troubleshoot what was going on with our RV fridge and why it wasn't running on the propane like it properly should. So um, on our old trailer, it's not this trailer here, but on our old trailer, upon inspecting, we pulled the back cover off and we pulled the cover off the burner. And when we did so, we had found that there was uh, some rust that had fallen down on the burner plate from traveling. Um, so one thing I like to do when I pull off this cover is I like to make sure I tap on the burner tube, the, the chamber assembly, where the um, flame goes up and heats the ammonia to start the whole scientific process that's beyond me on how that works. Um, but it gets all that magical happiness going, but since that piece had fallen down on the burner, it had kept trying to ignite, but it could not ignite because it wasn't getting proper air and fuel mixture. So now before I head out on any trip, what I like to do is I get my propane bottle open. I head into the trailer. I like to start getting all the fuel. One of the best ways to draw that fuel and fill up your lines is to light the stove. So we get the stove lit, and once we have the stove lit, um, then after I've properly checked to make sure that everything's clear um, on my burner and my uh, uh, igniter's doing well, um, I can fire that up. What I'll also do is I'll take some pipe cleaner and I'll take a piece of pipe cleaner and I'll shove it up the, the fuel burner tube. Get little spiders and stuff like to crawl in there and, and get everything, you know, they make a nice little cozy home in there over the winter and then you try to light your furnace or your... Um, your furnace or your fridge and it's it's all gummed up with spider web so I like to get in there with a piece of pipe cleaner and get that cleaned out so once I've got all that cleaned out I draw my fuel in through the stove and then we fire up and as you can see here everything is good to go there's no check light on and I get my fridge going about 24 hours before I go on a trip. That way it's nice and cold. All the product that I like to put in my RV fridge, I've already got in the fridge in the house, and I take it directly from the house and put it in the RV fridge. These RV fridges are not completely, they're not as super efficient as what you have in the house. They're a different design. Um, and uh, so making sure that you have your fridge um, level, making sure that uh, you get it uh, cooled down 24 hours before you go. And um, I like to have my fridge not completely packed, but, but uh, I find that if my fridge is a little bit fuller, it seems to stay cooler a lot longer. So like I said, before you head out on the trip, make sure you go through a couple of these simple steps, tap on that chute, make sure you get all the rust out of it, blow out all the cobwebs, clean that, clean that whole unit out. Um, so that you don't get caught up trying to work on this while you're up camping and that will keep you out on the trail having a good time versus in the park working on your RV fridge, which is no fun. So link to some of our other videos right here on things I like to do with the RV and camping and you can check out that playlist right here. If you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that right here as well as give the video a like and share it on your social feeds. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.